What's good? Half blind back with another college football 25 video, and today we are going to be doing a Road to Glory deep dive. We've got a huge blog from Road to Glory, and I'm actually going to structure this video a little bit differently. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you my thoughts up front on this entire blog, just kind of summarize what I feel about it at the beginning rather than at the end. And then I'm going to go into a deep dive, and while I go through the deep dive, I'll discuss why I think what I said at the beginning. So my initial thoughts from reading this entire blog is that I feel like they did a really good job of capturing how hard it is to be a student athlete because it really feels like you do not have enough time to do what you need to do. And I also feel like the replayability is going to be really good. Now, I'll get into it in the deep dive why I feel like you don't have enough time to do everything you need to do. But you really have to balance your time management in this game. And it's not going to be, you know, real life time. It's, you know, points like hours in the week. You just balance it out. But I think it's going to be tough to put all the time into everything you need to and develop the way you would like to. I think they really did a good balance of making that difficult. And that's how it is in college football. You got to do stuff to keep yourself healthy. You got to do stuff to get yourself eligible in terms of academics. You got to do stuff to get better. It's all there. And they did a really good job of that. It's not all roses, though. There are some things that I would like to see a little different or tweaked in future games. But it really, the negatives are not that bad. The negatives that I've seen so far in it are, one, I you know kind of wish there's more than a text-based narrative system. It's just that you, you know, get texts and those are your scenarios. Kind of like, wait, if you've ever played MLB The Show, Road to the Show, very similar to that from the sounds of it, except for the fact that the scenarios are going to have more impact on what you actually get boost wise, things like that. On top of that, there's no high school, which to me, it's not that big of a deal, but it is a big deal for some people. A lot of people wanted to start out at high school and form what they want to be as a recruit. That's not in this game. And then this piece could be just phrasing and how they phrased it in the blog, but they mentioned the wear and tear system and that you may have to make some decisions on whether or not you would pick up a block or not based on your wear and tear and things like that. I think it might just be wording, but really, I mean, I don't like the thought of no matter what my wear and tear is, letting my quarterback get hurt, get hit, whatever you, however you want to think of it, because it could happen either way. I don't really like the idea of that, and I think that's really just their way of saying, yeah, your wear and tear is going to potentially put you on the sidelines, but hopefully it doesn't come to that point where you're sitting there going, man, I you know, I can't block for the quarterback because I don't want to get injured. That would not be fun if it's that way. I don't think it is. I just think their wording was a little strange there to me, and I didn't necessarily love that part. But really, the pros and the cons, I think it's way heavier on the pro side of things. The cons, I don't think they're as bad. But let's get into the deep dive, and you'll see where, all, where I'm coming from on all this, and we'll see what you guys think. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling about Road to Glory and if that's going to be a mode that you pick up. Now, I left it on the screen while I've been talking, but you can see here there are four different paths that you can pick. And this is as opposed to the high school method that I had talked about in previous games where you could start in high school and that would determine your star ranking. This one you just pick. Now, I actually think this could have some potential good in the replay of it because I like the fact that I could start out as the underdog. And they said that the underdog is kind of more of a hardcore experience, that it's going to be really hard to... Well, it sounded like it was going to be really hard to take an underdog and then become a Heisman Trophy candidate. To me, I think that's actually really cool. I think that's going to be a nice challenge and it's going to be a nice thing to just be able to. I mean, I I kind of hope to make videos on it, to be completely honest. I would love to take an underdog, put them on a small school, utilize the transfer portal, move my way up, and then eventually, hopefully win a Heisman before my four years are up. So to me, that that's kind of cool that you can do that. You could do that before on the high school thing. You just kind of have to probably tank a little bit. This you could just pick. I don't I don't mind this. I wasn't big on the high school thing anyways cuz it's kind of just stat padding. But other people I know care about that and you might be disappointed it's not here. To me, personally, I'm good with this cuz I'm going to start out some two-star recruits in different positions and see if I can get them to Heisman candidates. 
This I probably could have mentioned in the con section at the beginning, but some people aren't liking the fact that there's only five positions. To me, I honestly think that's enough in terms of the fact that, I mean, it'd be cool if they had more. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't mind playing any, you know, any additional positions they want to give us would be fine with me. But I think these are the core five. This doesn't really bother me too much. Some people are bothered by it. So if you're looking for what positions that you're going to be able to play as in Road to Glory, here they are. Uh, to me, it's the main one, so I'm I'm not bothered by it. Something I love about this screenshot is that they actually chose to put all of the different customizations that people have been wanting that they put in the game. They put it all on one character. They put the wrinkled up socks. They put the the shirt pulled up under the the pads like you'd be showing your abs. They put the hoodie. They got all of it in there. I think that's kind of interesting. They just put it all on one player. But that was to kind of show that you do have some customization on how your Road to Glory player is going to address. I talked about archetypes a little bit on the Dynasty Deep Dive, but just kind of the gist here, you're going to be able to create different archetypes, and you're seeing the quarterback archetypes here. It's going to be different physical abilities, and you're going to be able to have different play styles, basically. So if you enjoy being one of those scrambling quarterbacks that gets out of the pocket, or if you want to be an option quarterback and you want to have better pitches and be able to do the quick pitch better, things like that, you're going to have the ability to do that based on what archetype you select. Now it shows your mental abilities here. You have things like academic, leadership, brand, things like that. And it actually does mention that what you choose at the beginning is going to affect how many abilities you get. So for example, if you select a blue chip, you actually get an extra ability slot. As you go down, I believe it gets to two at the lowest point. I could be wrong, but I think it's two at the lower stars. And so you got to pay attention to that when you're selecting abilities because it can make it a little tougher on you having less abilities and things like that. But that's part of the challenge of building up a low star recruit. Now, this is where I mentioned the text based system similar to the road to the show. And as you can see here, they're talking recruiting pitches. So this is before you sign with the school. And this is actually going to be important as you go through it. It mentions when you do the transfer portal, which we'll talk about a little bit later, that the pitches you choose here during your initial recruiting phase will actually matter when you go into the transfer portal. So keep that in mind when you're picking. But honestly, uh, I would love to see this be a little bit more of a story driven than text because I don't necessarily love the way Road to the Show does it. But it is the first year. Next year, they may expand on it more. Also, it's not always great when they do it video wise. I mean, we've seen some clips of what happened with 2K doing certain kind of cringy storylines and sometimes they're good, but usually they're a little cringy. So, eh, I mean, it could be worse. I'm not hating on it too much. I'm OK with this. And here we see you have your finished profile screen. The reason why I wanted to show this real quick is because you can kind of see in the abilities that there are some grayed out that you can't get all of them all the way up. That is based on your archetype and there are some coach abilities that you can have depending on the coach you're playing with that you could actually surpass what the limit is, but you're not going to be able to fill out all of these abilities without, you know, specific coach abilities. So when you start out, you're not going to be able to get everything 10 of 10, but they are out of a 10 point system. Now we've got your signing day and it's kind of what you would expect, but it does give you a projected role. So if say you wanted to go to South Carolina, you would be a starter. It's also got your interest level on there. So it's kind of like you're on the recruit side of what happens on Dynasty. Uh, but I do think it's interesting that it gives you your projected role. If you're starting out as a two star, I do think you're probably going to want to go to a smaller school where you could be projected as either a starter or maybe a second string. Whereas at the big schools like go into South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama, something like that. One of the SEC schools, you may not, you may be like third string. So I would say if you're starting out at low stars, I would start out with a small school and work your way up and even potentially go through the transfer portal. Practice. So I would love to say it like Allen Iverson, but really only Allen Iverson can say it like that. We do have practice mini games and you had practice mini games in Madden 24. These look a little different. I'm not sure how different. We'll just have to see when we get in there. But something I thought was really interesting with these is it says that you can actually on these, you get a certain medal and then you can actually simulate. And so you don't have to do every practice every week. Once you get gold, you can potentially simulate and get your gold in that practice. 
So I think that's a good uh, quality of life for players because I know a lot of people are not going to want to train every week. But you go get your gold once and you should be able to get your training stat to where you just simulate it and you get your gold medal and you get your max attributes. On a week to week basis, you have five different things that you're going to need to manage. And the first one we're going to go through here is academics. No, that does not mean you're actually going to have to go through and take a biology test or anything like that but you do have to allocate time to it. So what they mentioned is on a normal week, you get about five hours to allocate to it. If you have a game on Thursday, you're gonna get four hours to allocate to it. And then if you're on a uh, bye week you'll get six hours. So basically it's, it's a time point-based system where you're gonna allocate to each of these five things. And academics, the reason why it's important is one, there's abilities that are tied to it and then, or at least an ability that's tied to it, I should say. And then also on top of that, there is, you have to stay eligible to, obviously your GPO slips below two, you don't get to play. And then you're forced to use training points at that point to get to where you can play again when your GPA gets back up over two. So you don't wanna let your academics fall too far behind. Again, true to life, like what, athletes have to do they do have to keep their gpas up or they become academically ineligible that's realistic and also i think it said it did definitely did say in there that if you keep your gpo up high enough i think it was like 3.0 that it will help you with your coach trust as well and as you'll see more as we go on coach trust is basically whether or not you're going to be a starter in that position or it just allows you to do more things in the game with coach trust. The more you have, the more you're going to be able to do, the more you're going to have access to. So having a, at least a, a good GPA, it doesn't have to be perfect. doesn't have to be 4.0, but having a good GPA will help with your coach trust. Next we have leadership and it's talked about it in dynasty. If you want go back and watch that video, cause I'm referencing it quite a bit here, but in the dynasty deep dive, I talked about how, you have the home and away, the home advantage, basically. You're going to want to get your leadership up to get your composure up to where you don't have things like uh, receiver icons missing, things like that for when you're going on the road. And it also helps with some XP gain as well. Training seems pretty straightforward, but one thing I did think was interesting. So yes, training helps you with your attributes, but it also does add a little bit of wear and tear. So you kind of have to balance your training with your health, which we're going to talk about next. And it actually, if you're banged up to a certain point, you're not even going to be able to train until you're healthy enough. So I do think that's interesting that they incorporated the wear and tear into the training system. We just talked about health. And one thing that's important to note is unlike dynasty, the between week, you're actually going to have to allocate points for your health rather than it just automatically coming back. It did say that your your wear and tear and your health is not going to go up just automatically. You are going to have to give points to it, which again fits with the college experience because going into training and things like that probably would. All right, training training rooms, I guess, is what I was getting at there, will actually affect your amount of time that you have to study and things like that for academics. It's you know. Spending time getting healthy in football is taking out time of, you know, the rest of the other things you need to be doing. That's the balance they're going for here from the looks of it. And I do think they hit it. Finally, of the five things throughout the week, you have brand, which this is tied to NIL, as you would imagined. So now they mentioned at the beginning, NIL is not a huge part of this game yet. And part of the reason why is because the landscape of college football was changing. They, they mentioned this at their early release blog. So this has been known for a while. The landscape of NIL is changing pretty much on a year to year basis. So it was even changing while they were developing the game thing. When, when things settle down a little bit more, they'll probably put more into NIL, but brand is going to be important for the things you're getting ready to see right here. So as you see here, you will get NIL text. And I think earlier I said that it was hours. It's actually energy, but as you can see, it does cost an energy point when you get the NIL deal and there's different ones out there. And they do mention that certain deals are exclusive to NIL and some of them can actually help with your week to week activities. So for example, there's deals that you can do with a physical therapy place where you do basically a commercial for it. 
You don't actually show you doing a commercial for it, but you will take those two points from the photo shoot of it and you'll lose those, but then you'll get free training sessions to help out with your, um, your health. And so when it helps out with your health, that's going to be points you don't have to spend on your health later. So you're going to have to weigh the pros and cons of taking the NIL deal. And you're also only going to unlock certain ones by building up your brand to a certain point. Again, really authentic to college football, I feel. You will also get some scenarios, and in this particular scenario, you basically have the option to miss morning class and sleep in, which does help you out a little bit with a boost, but also because you miss class, it hurts your GPA. I'm not going to lie, when I was in college, I definitely slept in a couple times, so I need to do better. Maybe this is my second chance at, at uh, the college life. I need to not be sleeping in, but... I mean, honestly, it, I'm sure it happens. Uh, it obviously happened to me, and I wasn't even an athlete. There was no health for me to recover. We talked about coach training earlier being a big part of the game this year in Road to Glory, and you can see a demonstration of it here. This is how you move up the depth chart. You basically get enough coach trust to challenge and have a position battle for the position you're going for, for the top string. You can also lose coach trust depending on how you're playing and you can get challenged by the person below you on the depth chart. And as you can see here, when it comes to the position battle, it, it looks like it's mini game based. So you're going to be doing a mini game battle to try to get the position you want and you can lose that battle and then you have to work your trust back up to be able to challenge again for that position. So those position battles are going to be really important to win it. Otherwise, it's going to be a multi week setback. Now we've got the abilities training, and I want to know who at EA let somebody name the guy for the screenshot Thomas Swipe Right. I, it was a good laugh when I saw it, I'm not going to lie, but still, I was kind of surprised to see that. But hey, you know what? A little levity in the blog doesn't hurt anybody. Uh, but as you can see here, they do it based on skill groups. And what that really means is it's based on a 10-point system in each group of skills that you can see here are going to be in a group of like five or six are going to be leveled up as you go one to ten and certain ones are going to be blocked off based on your archetype unless you have certain coach abilities with physical abilities you do have to purchase those with ability points whereas on the mental abilities they might have to be a certain bar that you have to fill up to be able to activate that ability on the gameplay side of things, this is where I mentioned they said something about making decisions on your wear and tear, whether or not you block for your quarterback, things like that. Again, it might just be phrasing, but personally, I don't like the idea of missing a block for your quarterback if you are got some bad wear and tear and you don't want to get taken out of the game. I hope people are not doing that in college football. It might be. I don't know. But... I will say I don't love the phrasing there and hopefully there's not too much of that where you have to miss blocks to not get too beat up on wear and tear. You can see here what your wear and tear looks like during the game and something to keep in mind if your wear and tear does get too bad the coach will bench you and if it's too bad before going into the game you may not play at all. So working on your health in between weeks is going to be really important and I mean I guess technically missing blocks could be really important to you not messing up your wear and tear too much although I imagine it would hurt your coach trust in some way but who knows maybe not we mentioned coach trust a lot and it even affects the gameplay so as you can see here on low coach trust you only get one play option and you just go with what's called later you're going to get higher coach trust and you're going to be able to choose between three plays but you can only do it so many times in the game you can't do that in audibles. You actually have to do that in the pre-play selection screen, but you can, if you're a quarterback, adjust your hot routes and things like that. You can still do that, but when it comes to audibles and things like that, you got to pick it on the initial play screen, and you're only going to get to change the play so many times based on the amount of coach trust that you have. The transfer portal is in Road to Glory, and I think it's going to be really important in the role-playing aspect of this especially when you're starting out at a low star if you're wanting to build up from just playing at a just nowhere school say nowhere these are all division one schools they're all at least somewhat big but starting out at a really small school small conference and as a two star getting some playing time and eventually you want to work your way up to play in for one of the power five schools i do think the transfer portal is going to be really important in that keep in mind i did mention that 
you will have your pitches that you did at the beginning and that's going to affect the transfer portal when you go into it later so keep that in mind when you're picking your pitch at the beginning and finally the piece that everybody is excited for or a lot of people i should say are excited for i don't know if everybody's excited for it but you can export your road to glory player to madden 25 and it just says you have to have an ea account and things like that which i think you pretty much have to sign up for one when you create the game so just want to make sure that you have the same account tied to both games, I'm sure. But then you can export your player. I It says here you can actually retire from college football. Not 100% sure why you would want to do that. Maybe if you had a two-star that just didn't develop very much and is not very good, maybe you do just want to retire from college football. But it's something you can do. Um, but people are happy that you have it, and hopefully they'll come up with a way to do dynasty classes without messing up the... Uh, player licensing and things like that. Maybe they'll be able to do a fully randomized player licensing when it comes to Dynasty and exporting draft classes. That's not there right now, but at least you do have this for Road to Glory. That's going to wrap things up for me today. I gave you my thoughts at the beginning and then kind of expanded on it as we went through it. Hopefully you like this format a little better. I don't want to be just reading off a page when it comes to this blog, so hopefully this helped. Hopefully it was I don't know, informative or entertaining or both. But uh, let me know in the comments if Road to Glory is going to be something you guys are going to be playing. And honestly, we are just a couple days away from early release. It's going to be on Monday. So get ready because there's going to be a lot of content coming out. I am going to be on vacation when it releases. Unfortunately, I am still going to try to play the game on vacation and I'm still going to try to get some content out for it. So be looking for that. That's how much I'm looking forward to this game. I am planning on playing the game on vacation in whatever fashion I have to do it, even if I have to do it through remote play on a tablet. And I'm going to do it because I've been looking forward to College Football 25 for over a decade. I've missed it. I'm hyped for it. Hopefully you guys are as well. But thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate you all. Peace.